This tutorial is going to be about obtaining and then uh, converting uh, video backgrounds. Video backgrounds are one of the hottest trends right now, uh, mostly on uh, laptop and desktop computers, but pretty soon we're going to see them also on uh, mobile devices. So the website that I found that has a huge um, selection of video backgrounds, and they are all very uh, professional and they're all free not just free uh, for personal use but free for production use is a website called cover with two r's dot co so we'll start our uh, tutorial there i can search for different uh, videos if i know their name or i can scroll down and they have all kinds of categories so let's say that i uh, want to find something in the category um, nature And here are all the cover free nature videos that I could use as backgrounds. As soon as I roll over them and click play, I can see a uh, preview of what it would look like as a cover. I can even see a preview of what it would look like, see as cover covering the whole screen. Let me keep on looking. I'm going to go back one page and I'm going to go to something that is let's say this one if it says by the way Shutterstock these are not the free ones of course they're promoting them um, those are paid ones but you look for the word free so let's say that I really like this one with the ocean and the islands that looks like a great video background to me so uh, if I like it, I'm going to download it. And what it actually downloads, of course, they want you to uh, you know, sign up for their uh, mailing list and so on, which, of course, you can skip. But here is the zip that it downloads. It downloads a zip. And if we look at my downloads folder, what it downloads is a zip. Here it is the island and so on. If I double click on a Mac, you double click to uh, unzip things. Here's the folder. Now let's see what's inside. In that folder, they give you two things. They give you the video in an MP4 format, but they also give you a JPEG and the JPEG can be used as a fallback um, in our code for devices that uh, cannot or we don't want them to play a video background. So it's very handy. I got both a video and a fallback static image. The one thing that they do not supply you, they used to, but they don't supply you with, is a WebM version of the video. The MP4 version is compatible with almost every modern browser, but not all our users are going to be using modern browsers. So to maximize compatibility, we have to offer the video or code the video as two alternative sources, an MP4 and a WebM. How do we convert MP4 to WebM? We could do this for free online. There's plenty of uh, places that could do that, but my favorite one, because of its uh, availability and ease, and of course, because it's free, is a website that I'm going to right now called Video Online Convert, video.online-convert.com. As a matter of fact, this is a very useful website because you can use it online to upload almost any format and convert it to any other format. They, you know, audio formats to convert from one to another and image formats and so on. But in our case, it's the video converters that we're interested in. And we want to convert things to WebM. So I click convert to WebM. I can either choose files or drag and drop. I'm going to click choose files and I'm going to go back to my downloads, find that island footage, select my mp3 open and it starts uploading meanwhile while it starts uploading we can look at the different settings 
Now here's the deal, I can resize this to a different size screen, I can change the frame rate of the video, I can change the compression of the video, but I'm not going to do any of the above because the default is that if you don't fill out any of those fields, it's simply going to convert the video with all its current parameters. Same size, same compression, uh, same frame rate, only to a different format and that's exactly what we want. As soon as the video is fully uploaded, I can start conversion. Now, of course, depending on um, the size of the video, this might take a few seconds. So we're waiting. And meanwhile, of course, they're trying to tell you to... Uh, um, here it is. Actually, it didn't take long at all. Um, they're trying to tempt you, you know, to sign up for other services that they have. Um, but here it is, it just uh, converted it on the Mac, it just prompts me to download it, or I could just click the download. By default, it gives it the same name as the, the MP4 that we uploaded, but just changes the um, extension to WebM. If I look at my downloads, here it is, the, it's the latest thing. I um, arrange them by date created. Uh, usually the WebM is going to be just slightly, well, let's see if I compare that. Let me move it into the same folder as the MP4. And here they are. This is the MP4 I uploaded. It is 6.7 uh, megabytes and the WebM is a little more compressed. But if I open it, in this case, I'm opening it with a player called uh, the VLC player. Looks fine. Last thing I'm probably gonna do, before of course I move them into the video folder inside my site, is shorten their names. So if I just call this one island.webm, island. Uh, dot webm and island. dot mp4 and island dot jpeg two formats of video to cover the compatibility of video of different browsers and a jpeg screenshot um, as a fallback for uh, devices that don't play video at all such as uh, most cell phones when I say video, I mean video background. Of course, cell phones play video, but we still can't use it as a background.